thank you for being uh, here today for on a very happy occasion where we can be very proud of some uh, very talented and dedicated young people. I want to thank uh, my friend Judge Edie Conley for allowing us to use her courtroom. Did, did I lose the judge? Um, tell you what, she, uh, I love doing it here because she and her family are a model for public service, giving back to our nation through the military, through her service here uh, as our Justice of the Peace and through the community as well. And so it's always an honor to be here uh, and, and Judge Connolly is a dear friend of mine. And also we're here because it's a good problem when we have too many award winners to do it in my congressional office. That's a good thing uh, for everybody. So these young people we're honoring today um, are receiving congressional uh, awards um, and they really represent the best uh, of America in so many ways. Their commitment to bettering themselves and giving back to the community, that's exactly the values, that's exactly the character and integrity we hope for uh, in, in every uh, generation of young Americans. And each of these honorees uh, have achieved challenging goals they set for themselves in four areas. So voluntary public service, personal development, physical fitness, and expedition exploration and exciting it's exciting I think to ha see them make these great strides while working alongside uh, others their family who support and encourage them along the way the help of their teachers their scouts of other volunteer leaders in the community and when you look at the organizations that they volunteered with and for it really is remarkable uh, they've reached out to help so many people in our community in so many different ways. It's really, it's just exciting and encouraging to see this type of commitment. And so, to the honorees, can we join with them in thanking their families for being such great supporters? Honorees, can you join with me in thanking your folks? <laughs> and family. And all, it's also uh, an honor for me to see what tremendous hope they offer to us in the future because as young servant leaders they just don't share their values they, they act upon them and that's what we're honoring here today so if you don't know the congressional uh, award is a public private partnership funded through private sector donations uh, since its inception nearly four decades ago so this program has a rich her uh, heritage of rewarding uh, personal achievement in, in giving back by our young people and this year's honorees include uh, some students who are actually away at college right now and other events today, but we're blessed to have six of our honorees here in Judge Connolly's courtroom with us. So first, I, I am proud to introduce and ask her to bring, uh, come forward, Maddie Mae Custer. Come on, Maddie Mae. So Maddie May, come over, come over. Okay. So Maddie May, she's a junior with Mother Divine Grace Homeschool and a Lone Star College Montgomery dual credit student. Uh, she serves as senior acolyte at St. Anthony of Padua Church. She's been invited to play viola with the Conroe City Orchestra. And I understand Maddie has her sights set on becoming an Aggie and attending law school. Maddie, on behalf of the United States House of Representatives, Congratulations on receiving the Congressional Award. Thank you. Thank you. So Sam Lyons, and we've got an accommodation for you as well. So Sam, Sam's? So Sam Lyons, come on up. So Sam is a uh, um, sophomore at the John Cooper School. He's a soccer player, an active committee member for, Habit, for Habitat for Humanity. Uh, again, and Sam, uh, again, on behalf of the U.S. House of Representatives, congratulations on, on winning the Silver Award. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Henry Lyons. By the way, you guys are really great today, by the way. You all look super. <laughs> So Henry is a junior 
uh, at the G John Cooper School. He volunteers for Habitat for Humanity as well. The Interact Club, I'm a member of that Rotary Club. The TOPS program and with especially uh, timely now, Hurricane Harvey recovery. And by the way, Henry and Sam were the first of three sets of brothers and sisters being honored today. Henry, on behalf of the U.S. House, congratulations on the point. Thank you. <laughs> Emily, Celia, there's Emily up. There you go. So Emily, good to see you. So Emily is a sophomore at the Woodlands High School, uh, who has achieved two congressional medals. Uh, while she's accepting, she's also accepting medals for her sister and brother who are away at college as well as her own. So Emily's an active local volunteer who helps Meals on Wheels, the Children's Museum, uh, a local food pantry and other organizations when she's not marching in the Woodlands High School Band. Emily, congratulations. And our final Brother and sister honorees are both freshmen at the Woodlands High School, where they're both making their marks because they're twins and we're going in alphabetical order. So don't get me in trouble on this one. So Allison, Cher, come forward, Allison. Allison is an accomplished gymnast, a track and field athlete, Girl Scout. A student council member, I was in student council when I was in high school, a citizen scientist and a community volunteer. Ashley, again, on behalf of the U.S. House, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, Ashley, you didn't think you were getting out of this, did you? <laughs> so, how are you doing? Good. So, Ashley, is a scout, she's a volunteer and a student athlete with numerous track and field and swimming competitions win. She's also a citizen scientist. She helped the robotics team uh, earn multiple awards on behalf of the United States House. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So I thought, with your permission, um, when I read through uh, all the remarkable work and volunteer efforts they had, it's, it's really just stunning. I thought maybe we could start actually go backward um can you can you describe a bit your volunteer services and, and what you learned from them uh, i like to volunteer at the retirement home for my granddad which retirement home was it um, copperwood yeah. did they enjoy having you there yeah did you let them win or did you oh we called the numbers we oh, called the numbers okay <laughs> Okay, good politician right there, so thank you. Um, Allison, tell, tell us about your volunteer. Oh, yeah. I also enjoyed bingo if it was with NCO. Oh, uh, yeah. But I do like sewing. I learned how to sew because of NCO. Oh, that's great. So that's is Bryce good. Cantor. Oh, that's right. I read that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for doing that. Emily, tell us about your volunteer work. Um, I really like doing meals on wheels through NCO also. Yeah. And like just delivering the meals to all the people. That's great. Henry? Um, I enjoyed um, uh, Top Soccer and Habitat for Humanity. It helped me learn how privileged I am to have the life that I do. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Thank you. Uh, I really Sam? liked um, doing Habitat for Humanity and seeing how uh, our contributions can affect other people. Yeah, it's a great program. It really helps people. It's good. Manny May? I liked, um, I volunteered with Interfaith a lot, and I worked with the Hand Me Up shop, and that's selling used clothes, yeah. and I just liked seeing it, because it's like where they get all the money to help people. Yeah, that's a great program. Well, thank you. I am, look, needless to say, um, I'm so proud of what you continue to do and how you give back, but the whole community is proud of you and what you represent. We're just so encouraged by your giving back and your devotion to helping others. It's just, it plus, in, in, in um, developing your own skills, which is really what this award is about, uh, is about as well. And so, again, on behalf of the whole community, uh, congratulations. So I thought maybe we could, could we take a photo while you're here together? Don't object to you? Thank you. 
before we do that, can you all join me in thanking uh, and honoring our Congressional Board of Governors? Custer. Okay, and your first name is? Maddie. Yeah, spell your, spell your first name. M A D D I E. Okay. Maddie, tell me, what did it take to do this work? I mean, you, you've been volunteering this area for quite a while. Tell me about your volunteer work. Oh, <laughs> um, well, I did a lot with um, Interfaith. A couple, uh, hundred hours or so. I worked with the hand me up shop a lot. So every Friday for a couple hours, I went down and I sorted clothes and just helped get all the used clothes out onto the floor for people to buy and for the sales to go to Interfaith so that they can yeah. find families that need it. Do you need something to get no more like this? Okay. Um, uh, I'd have to say it's a reflection of myself and what I'm capable of because I didn't believe that I could actually do this for a long part of this. So to like, see myself able to do this, it shows that I can take challenges and overcome them. And what, are you a senior right now or what are you? I'm a junior in high school. I um, take classes at the Lone Star Community College and some courses at Mother of Divine Grace Home School. And plans afterwards, after school? I would like to become a lawyer and go to law school. Any choice of schools? No, we're kidding. Um, really proud of this is awesome. Thank you. Texas A&M <laughs> to start <laughs> with. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, were you really? Wow. Yeah. Awesome, great. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Can you go ahead and tell us about some nice yeah, so these, this kind of exciting, this I, I think really exciting. We have young people who've won the congressional award. Uh, this is a challenge, a public-private sector challenge that really um, uh, asks our young people to step forward on public service, on bettering themselves, on giving back the community in which they live, and really exploring um, uh, greater boundaries. And these honorees really are the best of our young people. They're so engaged in giving back. Um, they, they devote hundreds of hours to public service and really challenge themselves. And so it's really an honor for me and for the community to be able to present, on behalf of the United States House of Representatives, the Congressional Award. Uh, can you give maybe a couple of examples of why some of these kids you know, deserve the award? Yes, yeah, so when you look at it, um, in the four areas that they're challenged in, what's really impressive is how much they gave back to the community. You know, they did um, a Habitat for, for Humanity, uh, many of them did the projects for our veterans, for our military, for our seniors, uh, volunteering at children's, uh, the Children's Museum, on and on and on. So they really made a difference in our community, reaching out to people, um, frankly, who, who love those who volunteer and are helping them. And what does that mean to have you know, young people in the community willing to step up like that? You know, especially after Hurricane Harvey where we saw neighbors helping neighbors all throughout our region, and then the rest of the country coming here to help us as well. Just having these young people set an example uh, with their actions, not just with, with, uh, with uh, their words, but actually reaching out, providing that volunteer leadership. It really, and they're setting, they're a model, and a role model for, I think, young people everywhere. 